Well, the first tornado has touched down in Arkansas. The first tornado of 2024. And here's some of the information about it. First of all, it touched down in Saline County near East End, between East End and Sardis. I think it was in the city limits of East End. It was an EF1 with winds of about 95 miles per hour. It was only on the ground for about four minutes, but in that four minutes, it traveled two and a half miles and it had a damage path of about 500 yards. Again, just to the south of Little Rock, it was in Saline County near East End, got impacted by the first tornado of the year. The good news with that, didn't cause any injuries or deaths. That's always what we like to hear as far as tornadoes go. Not only did we see tornadoes or one tornado last night, we also saw some large hail in the area that's been hitting, getting hit with large hail over and over. Last June, if you remember, Garland County Hot Springs just kept getting large hailstones plummeted on them. And last night was no exception. Grace Cunningham sent in these photos of some at least golf ball sized hail. Some pretty big hailstones fell yesterday in Garland County. And like Jessica said, we're not completely out of the woods. We do have another risk for severe weather, mainly tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. You can see the highest risk, level two risk, is in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. But you can see a little sliver, South Arkansas, is under a low level one risk. But that level one risk was enough. Yesterday, we were only under a level one risk to produce a tornado. Now, severe weather is possible Sunday morning, Sunday night into Monday. Winter weather will be possible. Winter weather advisories are in place for six counties in northwest Arkansas from 9 p.m. on Sunday until noon on Monday. That's all associated with the same system. It's bringing heavy rain over Arkansas right now. We're seeing moderate rain in Little Rock, heavy rain over eastern Arkansas, and that's going to continue throughout the evening. Notice we do see a little break in the action, and by Sunday morning, this is 6 a.m., maybe just cloudy skies, no rainfall, but look, bright reds and oranges moving closer to the state. This is, I think, when we could see that really low risk for gusty winds, maybe some small hail in far southern Arkansas around 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. Here in central Arkansas, no risk for severe weather, but your drive into church might be a wet one with heavy downpours and thunder and lightning. We'll see another break in the action in central Arkansas Sunday afternoon before we see more rain form and even snow in parts of northern Arkansas. This is 10 p.m. already changing over to snow in places like Fayetteville and Harrison. It'll continue snowing into Sunday, Monday morning could cause some issues for the Monday morning commute and then rain wrapping up Monday afternoon in northeast Arkansas. Snow wrapping up in northeast Arkansas. How much snow could we see? Nothing in Little Rock or central Arkansas, but one to three inches of snow will be possible in the highest elevation of the Ozark Mountains and maybe even a dusting could fall in parts of north central and northeast Arkansas. Again, no snow expected here in Little Rock. Right now in a dash heating, cooling and plumbing tower camera, we got mostly cloudy skies, light rain falling 55 degrees northeast wind around seven miles per hour tonight. 40% chance of rain. We're kind of in a lull this between showers and storms 46 for a low temperature, but 30s up north Sunday afternoon, not moving much high of just 52 degrees. Crane team impact number for tonight and Sunday is a three for the rain and a few areas of thunderstorms and a two on Monday. Now here's your seven day forecast. So beyond Monday, we do have some nice weather. Tuesday, sunny 62, sunny and 66 on Wednesday. 